first tonight, we begin with our first look at the new safety additions to Hillsborough County public buses. These new safety shields are going to be installed around the bus drivers. All of this coming after a passenger was stabbed to death on a, uh, a bus driver was actually stabbed to death. Uh, the driver was killed back in May. And ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee tonight with a look at one of the first barriers being installed. These shields were based on what drivers in Hillsborough County wanted. In order to install them, they actually have to physically move the fare box and other parts of the dash just to get them in. It's hard to forget the tragic death of Thomas Dunn. Me and Operator Dunn were good friends. You know, and I, it really hurt me really, really bad. And I mean, it still hurts me. Anytime I ride down Nebraska, I just like dedicate that to him. But they and nearly every other bus operator in the Bay Area have been advocating for a safety overhaul, beginning with shields that can separate them from potential danger. It just happened too late and it's a tragedy that he had to die for this to happen. Thursday, Hart unveiled some of the first barriers they plan on installing in each and every bus. Our world has become much more violent uh, over a very short period of time. Hart board member Mariella Smith is proud of how fast Hart worked to get this done. Hart also teamed up with the Tampa Police Department and the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office to put their drivers through specific training, helping them better de-escalate a situation with an irate passenger, escaping from danger, and notifying law enforcement as quickly as possible. They're installing four of these safety shields a day, Monday through Friday. They're working around the clock to get these in every single bus, and they say that will take about seven to eight weeks. Heather Lee, ABC Action News. And taking this across the bay now, Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority, they're also installing those safety barriers around bus drivers. That will officially start next week. How many different people, how many different personalities they have to interact with on a on a minute by minute basis when you're driving around uh, picking up passengers? And it just makes me feel really good that we're finally getting these barriers in. And all of their buses are set to be outfitted with those safety barriers by the end of the year.